Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nihal Tahir and I am a fourth year OD student of University of Lahore Islamabad campus. In ODD talks, my topic of presentation is Thai. So what is Thai? Before we answer this question, we need to know about the anatomy. In the picture given below, we can see that both of our eyes have eyelashes arranged in two to three rows interiorly. Each eyelash follicle is associated with oil secreting glands called glands of Zeiss, and other oil secreting glands called meibomian glands. They are also present in dense connective tissue plates, which is also known as tarsal plates, which also provides calcium support, and as well as it is placed posteriorly in the eyelid. Now, moving forward to sty. A sty is a painful red lump at the edge of the eyelid that occurs due to bacterial infection of an oil gland in the eyelid. Sty may look like a boil or a pimple. Styes are often filled with pus. Causes of a sty: A sty is usually caused by Staphylococcus aureus bacteria, which infect the internal sebaceous glands within the eyelid. Styes are commonly in infants and children, but affect people of all age. The bacteria multiply in root follicle of an eyelash. Types of sty: There are two types of styes, officially called internal hordeolum and external hordeolum. An external hordeolum is a bacterial infection of the glands of Zeiss or the glands of mole inside the eyelids. This type of styes is more superficial and tends to heal quicker. While an internal hordeolum is a bacterial infection of the meibomian glands inside the eyelids. Internal styes tends to be more severe and occur a little less often than an external hordeolum. A sty can occur on either the upper or the lower eyelid. Possible signs and symptoms of a sty include localized swelling of the eyelid, mild pain in the eyelid and sensitive to touch, redness of the affected eyelid, possible crusting of the eyelid margins, possible burning in the eye, eyelid appears droopy. mucus or watery discharge in the eye irritation of the eye light sensitivity and sensation of a foreign object in the eye moving on to the risk factors that can cause a sty touching your eyes with unwashed hands using contact lenses without washing your hands leaving on eye makeup overnight using old or expired cosmetics and having blepharitis which is a chronic inflammation along the edge of the eyelid now How a sty can be treated? Usually, a sty doesn't require specific treatment, but using warm compresses can help. By applying hot compresses for ten to fifteen minutes at a time for four times per day. The purpose of warm compresses is not to decrease swelling, but rather to open the pores of the tiny oil glands to allow proper drainage so the eye can heal itself. Removing an eyelash or two in the center of the bump may help to stimulate drainage of the infection. Most styes will heal within 10 to 14 days. If the sty does not get better within 3 to 5 days, you can prescribe topical antibiotic. But if your eyelid infection persists or spreads beyond your eyelid, oral antibiotics are recommended. Surgery can also be done to relieve the pressure. Now, how a sty can be prevented? It can be prevented by washing your hands with soap and warm water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer several times each day. Keep your hands away from your eyes. Also, you can reduce the risk of the recurrent eye infection by throwing away old cosmetics. Don't share your cosmetics with others. Don't wear eye makeup overnight. If you wear contact lenses, wash your hands thoroughly before handling your contacts. Applying warm compresses If you had a sty before, using a warm compress regularly may help prevent it from coming back. That's all. I hope you have gained something from this presentation. Thank you.